I think this season, the fourth season, is actually the best, richest, most complicated season we've done yet, partially because of what's come before. You know, everything has been informed by three seasons prior. So, so it, it's uh, it's the story becomes richer, the textures of, of each character and the and the storylines are are deeper, and you know, it's 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 still going strong. I think the look of the show in season four is different. The physical atmosphere they're in at work is different. Um, there have been changes to each of the characters' uh, lives. The stakes are different, as we said. They're they're sort of they're out on a limb in a way they weren't. Their stories have progressed, informed by the stories that have come before it. So, you know, it's all about conflict and obstacle. I mean, Matt knows that what makes drama is someone wanting something and not being able to get it. And none of these people are satisfied. You know, you, you, as you kind of climb up the ladder professionally, you, you put yourself in a position to reach for something and you don't necessarily get it. And these are a, still a very a, a dissatisfied group of people. I think people like it because it's smart, it's original, it's, it's, it's complicated, the characters go places you, you don't expect, and, and critically for the same reasons. So it, it, it's a surprise, it's always a surprise that anything you do, I think, I, for me, anything I do that anyone likes is, is a surprise in some, some way. I mean, it gets less and less a surprise as, as you get deeper into it because, you know, you, you understand that people are, are, are intrigued by it and satisfied by it. And, and we know that, you know, we get these scripts every week and they get better and better. The firm has been disbanded. We've decided to go out on our own. Don's marriage is, has ended. Um, a lot of the relationships are up in the air. I, I think Matthew Weiner decided that uh, you could add a wrinkle to an already existing situation, a la the British taking over the firm and us having to work under the under the thumb of, of, of another firm. But really the most exciting thing to do would be to blow the whole thing up, both professionally and personally for the Draper character, and start all over again. A daunting, scary thing to do creatively, you know. But once you do that, and once you get a grip on the possibilities of it, as I've seen him do, you have nothing but potential. So the whole thing is you've got a group of people, you know the dynamics between these people, you know how complicated they all are, you know what they want, what they're not getting, why they're dissatisfied, and then you put them in an entirely different situation, and, and, and you've got nothing but possibilities. Roger says, you know, I, I, I feel like I've started a business m my whole life, but I, I inherited it. So he's really having to start all over again, put his own money on the line. Um, so, yeah, the stakes are higher for everybody because they go from something where there's a guaranteed paycheck to, to something, well, you know, what if it doesn't work? Roger is by no means oblivious to the fact that, 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 it's a, that the stakes have risen and it's a tenuous position, primarily because he has the account, uh, American Tobacco, Lucky Strike, that is, I think, 71% of, of the billings of the, of the company. It's a $25 million account. They have a couple of other accounts, but nothing remotely uh, of that size. So. I think Roger is uh, confident in his position in this, in this dynamic. You need me. I mean, he says that to, to Draper when he comes to him. You're, you're, you're coming after me because I got a golden pork chop hanging around my neck.
You can argue that he's a, a drinker and a womanizer and, a, and, 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 and someone who's always had a lot of money and um, lives a privileged life in a, in a bubble. And that's a pretty fair argument. But just when, you know, he also appreciates the company of women, he appreciates the intelligence of women, he appreciates humor, generates humor, um, has a really good bullshit meter, um, and can generate a pretty fair amount of bullshit if he needs to. Uh, he knows people, he's street smart, he's, he's um, served his country, he has, and, and, and in episodes to come, exhibits a loyalty that he wonders why most of the other people around him don't have. Last year, I, I asked uh, Matt Weiner if I could uh, follow the director around of, of uh, a couple of episodes, and he said yes. The director is a friend of mine, Phil Abraham, who's directed, he's a cinematographer and directed many of our episodes. Great director, great guy. And he said yes, they both said yes, so I did that for a few episodes, and then in between seasons asked Matt if I could direct one, and what I would have to do to make that happen. Be put in a position with your peers to, to, to say, all right, I've been given this responsibility. Here's what we're going to try to do. And they're amazing. I mean, they're so talented to begin with, but one little note can change everything. I mean, they're all so fluid and, and um, relaxed and in control of these characters. The designers, the producers, the post-production people, the editors, the, 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 the crew members that uh, across the line appreciate the quality of this thing and are all so proud of what they do and do it so well. I just saw somebody just sent me a picture of a bar in San Francisco with a Roger Sterling drink special. You know, I get sent a lot of drinks and, I mean, you know, people tell me how much they love the show. I mean, there were 7,000 people in Times Square in the premiere watching it outside, dressed up as the characters watching on the Jumbotron. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's taken on a life that I, no one expected, I think. It always feels good. People ask, um, is it, is it uh, uh, boring to be nominated or, are you, or do you take it for granted? You know, we've never. I mean, um, this is my third in a, in a row, third nomination in a row. The show, I think, got 17 nominations. You know, you sort of think the other shoe's going to drop and then some new show's going to come along and that you'll be the, uh, the fading older sister. I guess it hasn't happened yet this year. Um, it's always exciting, and it's unexpected. I don't, you don't, I don't really keep track of uh, when they are, when they come out, or or any of that. So it's a surprise, and it's always uh, it's always good to be recognized. You know, I mean, we love the show. We, you know, it, it, we're all proud of it. We all work very hard on it, and we're all really proud of it. So it's nice when when the public thinks it's good as well.